Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel where we say bye Bitcoin and goodbye to the banks. Yes, uh, today's short TA update going to tell you what I see on the charts. I have one, two, three, four amazing charts that you don't want to miss out and some news that is massive. Um, uh, also tonight, I'm going to be in Rotterdam in the Jack speaking about Bitcoin blockchain life and a lot of speaking about freedom. So if you want to be there, come to the Jack. It starts at 7. Now, uh, let's quickly jump into the chart. First chart here. Beautiful chart and of course it's the wrong chart because we're going to start with this one with short term short term We can see that Bitcoin um, is trying to create a long we are closing above the yellow stepping line This is the one hour chart <clears throat> and when we uh, cross this red line We will go all the way up to the blue line 29 600 so There's a small trade over there that you can take and make some small profits short profits now in the one day chart We see something more important um, at the moment. We find support on that green line but also on that green dotted line and what is that green dotted line that green dotted line is a is a long-term trend line that i i just saw on the screen and i just wanted to share it with you guys um don't do that did he? like this so if we look back and we can see where that dotted line comes from well, all the way back 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 even further then we can see this dotted line um, it comes all the way from 2013, it was resistance, we broke it, then we broke it again to the downwards, it became resistance again, do you see? Resistance, 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 then we had the 2018 bull run, and then we came down to that dollar line, and then it became support. Support, uh, cap support. So this is a very long trend line that we have been seeing support uh, many times, this whole area over there. That all area over there. There's a day chart, but now zoomed out very, uh, very uh, long term. Um, and then we can see again that we are coming back to that line. So I just spotted that. I think now nah, let's share it. Maybe um, it is that support line that we are trying to find now. Now, if we zoom out to the weekly, we can see the same. And um, the weekly, I told you, we are creating a lower low. After a lower low comes also a lower high. So this is the lower high. So we have that, <clears throat> we have the high over there on the top. Let's do it like this. We have the high there, lower high. We are expecting a lower high again. We get a low, uh, lower low. So after this lower high, the question is, are we going to make another lower low? So that would be then uh, this one over there. Would that be another lower low? Or are we going to break the trend? Now, in my opinion, we are now at this uh, this dotted white line. It's a support line 30K. The green line is that upcoming trend line that I just showed you on the day chart. So that one is also around 28K. So I think we will be curling up, creating a lower high around the 36K level. And then it will become exciting. Are we going to drop all the way back again then to the 30K? Or are we going to drop then to the dotted line? So to 31K and then break out out of this pattern, or are we going to drop even lower to that dotted line there that is extended dotted line of that 200 weekly moving average. So in my opinion, uh, three options, I have only drawn two I see now. Um, so the third option would be uh, that we come up over here and we come down over there to the dotted line and we break out and then we come back to that dollar line again and go up something like this one two three that is what i think expect and um, whatever it is i am buying bitcoins here because i think it's a beautiful average line of 30k 29k look if we continue the support on that line it will be nice if we drop a little bit below it it will be 26k do you really think that if you buy Bitcoin 5k cheaper now you it matters if we go back to 70k 80k 100k now, and if you look to the Gaussian channel, we can see, um, I've been talking about this many times, when it becomes red, we become bearish. And the previous two times, when it green went into red, we dropped another 50%, you see? 50%, 6K to 3K. This was the COVID drop, it even dropped before the Gaussian channel. So I'm not counting that as a real valid COVID, uh, Gaussian channel, but when we broke out, the bull run started, so that's beautiful to see. And now again, um, we already dropped 33%. So was this the drop 
that is the question now if we look back to those um, drops mostly these candles tell us what is happening let's see can we sh see this candle here this candle over here with a long wick to the bottom and a small body was telling us the market could be reversing now let's look at today do we see that the same yes now even better look guys this green long wick and a very small body that candle is telling us wow everybody is buying up that dip this candle is telling us this could be the reversal candle for the market which means that we are not turning green directly but that we are going to stay higher than that wick so this week is going to close in one day and fifth 18 hours this five day candle i need to say sorry and then let's see what the next five day candle will do if we will be higher again than the previous candle then this again was this reversal candle that can tell us okay the market is slowly shifting on the five day chart and we could be going up again soon and when that red turns into green please always remember when red turns into green that is the best buying opportunity we can we can look back as far as we want in the past but when the red turns to green it is the perfect moment to already be in bitcoin now if we look at the monthly guys everything playing out like we have been saying for months now yes those three lines were important i've been telling you if you break that blue line there is a big chance we will find that bottom on the um, logarithmic growth curve line that thin red line and if we break that we will go to the thick red line i've been telling that in text everywhere for a long time so um, we are exactly doing that of course now we are breaking the blue line we are even breaking the logarithmic grand, uh, growth curve line we are probably going to visit the thick red line but not in my opinion this week that can take another few weeks and then that line will be around 25k in my opinion something like that and then we will touch it um again i don't have a glass ball but every time when we touch that red line or come near that red line is the ultimate buying moment for bitcoin this is not a selling market this is not the market that you need to sell your bitcoins that you're freaking out this is the moment that you start to buy if we touch these lines we buy if we touch these lines we buy if we touch these lines we buy and the price always reverses and that's what you just keep doing if you zoom out a little bit more in these bull runs so the next halving will be in april 24 the halving after that will be somewhere uh, probably in april 28 so during these halvings we create these cycles and these cycles these keep slowly grinding up so if the top would be again 17 months after the halving like it was now and the previous time then we would see another top somewhere in september 2026 so that would mean we would be creating another um, halving cycle and that top can be as high as like few hundred k it can also be only 120k we will see if we calculate it the previous top till the current top that was like 275 percent 280 percent so if we would do that the same time now again from the current top till the halving moment and then 17 months plus and we would calculate 280 percent we would arrive at a price of 200 000 us dollar per bitcoin and um, if we would increase less because we have like um decreasing uh, blow of tops uh, like decreasing tops levels then we would let's let's say we would do 155 percent or something like that and um, that would still bring us above 100k at the next stop so that is how i look at it long term guys now let's quickly jump into some other amazing charts because it's taking too long again so we can see this is the six month till two year uh, uh, waves um, and we can see that there is an, uh, the wave one and there's a long-term hodl accumulation short-term hodl capitulation then we get the macro bottom and then we get a blue bull run so wave one then two is the bottom and three is the bull run wave one two is the bottom three is the bull run wave one two is the bottom three is the bull run now now again we are in wave one after that we will get that number two somewhere and then number two will then again be the macro bottom and then we will get a bull run so these waves keep coming it's like the deep blue sea keep making waves so just make sure you buy bitcoins at that number two the macro bottoms these bottoms are not for nothing these are where you should be buying bitcoin so if this wave is 
like turning over capitulation that we see full capitulation then we start to buy bitcoin again so when the blood is on the streets exactly now next chart over here this one is really cool Maya multiple Maya multiple also telling us guys we are now at a Maya multiple of 0 0.64 uh, 0 0.64 is a very low level we have seen it over there and we've seen it over there and we've seen lower even over there and there and all those moments that we had a Maya multiple of 0 0.64 charts BTC has made those dots green now just check those green dots and let me know if you should have been buying Bitcoin around these green dots because in my opinion every time when these green dots were green <laughs> on the chart would have been ultimate buying moment for Bitcoin and at the moment we are creating another green dot area there because the Meyer is below the 0.64 level guys very simple now that were all the charts now the very important news is guys do you see these people these people are the representatives of like 44 countries um, and they are all in El Salvador. And what are they doing in El Salvador? They are talking about Bitcoin and they are talking about how to adopt the Bitcoin standard for their countries, for the central banks of their countries. This is 44 people that rule a lot of countries of the world when it comes to financial decisions. And that is what you see over here. It's these countries. All these countries are now thinking and talking about uh, adopting the bitcoin standard guys this chart will be more yellow in a couple of years again because i think that bitcoin really will be the gold of the 21st century that maybe even the uh, global reserve currency from now the next 120 years till the last bitcoin is going to be mined because then they can play around with it as a global reserve currency without needing to fight or about if it is the dollar the euro or the yen or the euro or whatever no it's going to be a uh, decentralized one and that is what the countries i think slowly are coming to uh, see and agree on that this is the best form of decentralized currency that can be used as a global reserve currency as well now and the last thing i want to tell you guys is this don't be like this guy you're not going to be that guy that says ah oh, i'm an idiot i didn't buy bitcoin at 30k uh, when bitcoin was 70k now bitcoin is 30k don't be that idiot that now says, oh, I'm not going to buy Bitcoin. I should have bought a tricky. You should be dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin as Bitcoin is creating these cycles. And we will go up again. Yes, and it doesn't feel really nice at the moment. But when we will go up again, it will be feeling better again. So keep stacking sets. Keep adding to your positions. As in my opinion, it's still a cap of 21 million Bitcoins. It still has all the fundamentals. You can still use it as store of value. You can still use it as digital gold. You can do whatever you want with Bitcoin. You can even use it as a payment as I've been showing you many, 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 many times. Now that was really everything for today. 14 minutes because I skipped the video yesterday. You have a double video now. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about the Bitcoin price? Are you buying or are you freaking out and selling and um, for the ones that are going to rotterdam tonight see you in rotterdam yes i did book a hotel so i can do a few drinks after thank you for watching see you tomorrow again or tonight Bam.